this video we're going to talk about a uh, standard breakout that I call the center sweep and it has two variations we'll go over both of them but this is the type of breakout that we'll use when the team gives us some time uh, they're not forechecking hard maybe they went for a change um, you know maybe we'll run this two or three times in a game uh, because most of the time when you're you know, in the heat of a game and you got a four check going on you're just doing you know quick ups and wraps around the wall and you know trying to hit your wings for a breakout but if we get the opportunity to set up I like to run the center sweep because it builds a lot of speed in through the neutral zone which is you know something you always want to try to have so here yeah, that's how this works we line up D1 behind the net with the puck D2 is in the right wing corner always the right wing corner and the right wing and the left wing are on the hash marks and we have the center coming into the zone and basically the center is just going to come in come behind the net D1 can kick this puck out a little if he wants you know pick it up and we're heading up the ice with it now the idea here is for the center to use his speed and try to get up the ice all the way into the offensive zone. We don't have to have a pass. You know, we certainly can have passes happen, but if we can, if we can get the center skating and moving hard, what we really want is for him to just kind of take that puck and go in whichever direction he has an opening. So when he comes around the net, if he has a way to go this way, fine. If he has to go to the outside, fine. Again, if he comes you know, straight up the middle, fine. I'd really like him to skate with the puck. So let's just say he came out from behind the net and he went straight up the ice. And what everybody else would be doing is left wing would be coming up the outside, right wing would be coming up to fill that lane, D2 would be coming out from the corner, and D1 is always going to come out and trail the center. And the reason for that is if the center runs into any trouble on a four check, he can drop the puck back to D1, and D1 can look to hit D2 coming out of the corner, uh, out to the right wing, maybe skate the puck himself. Basically, we would regroup the breakout from here while the center kept skating. And then as we enter into the zone, you know, anything is possible. We can, you know, you always want to try to to get the puck to the outside. If you don't have a clear run up the middle, you know, you want to try to get the puck to the outside. And you want to try to work where the second forward into the zone, let's just say the left wing's the second forward into the zone. He's going hard to the front of the net to be the net front presence. And the third forward into the zone is coming across the high slot so that you know we have the opportunity to make a pass back to the high slot for a shot, to the front of the net for a shot, or even a shot on goal. And the net front presence there can be in position for a rebound. But what I really wanted to just talk about here was the fact that in the center sweep we want the center to pick the puck up and go hard right down the ice pick a lane look for some openings and try to force the other team to make a play on a skater who's moving at top speed now we have support d1 coming up behind him just in case he runs into trouble d2 is coming out of the corner the right wings coming up the wall left wings coming up the wall so there is support for the play we want to try to have some speed coming through the zone. So I have an animation of that play. And you'll see here again. Whoops, I don't want to do that. Just there right there. The center's coming through the zone, picking the puck up, and he's just skating. Alright. How they come into the zone, you know, you, you, you want to, again, you always want to try to I like to have the puck carry get out wide unless he's got a clear run into the net. Second forward goes hard to the front of the net. Third forward comes to the high slot. And we look to, you know, make a pass 
or a shot. Let's go back and run that again. You see the center it's coming through. It's picking up the puck. Using his speed to put pressure through the neutral zone. The wings are looking for lanes to fill. The defensemen are coming up from behind. So that's the center sweep where the center actually picks up the puck and skates with it. Now, the next option is the center coming in and the defenseman behind the net sees that there's some trouble on this side of the ice knowing that the center is going to come around this way to pick up the puck you don't want to just let him take the puck and run into a hard forecheck here. So D1 would yell over, center would pass over the puck, and what we would do is we would move that puck to D2 here, and then we're going to run the breakout from the corner. And the breakout from the corner can be a number of things. We can have D2 skate with the puck initially, right wing be skating up the wall center is going to be looking to cut back to the middle to be in position to support a pass here left wing is going to be skating down the wall so d2 can skate out of the corner he can make a pass to the center he can make a pass to the right wing <clears throat> so again there's a number of options but this is in the event that when the center comes around to pick that puck up D1 behind the net sees a forecheck presence in this area and doesn't want the center to just pick the puck up and run right into that forecheck. So let's look at a, uh, an animation of that play. Now the center passes over the puck. We go back to the defenseman. He skates, and we try to make one of those plays. Now, you know, again, <clears throat> once the breakout initiates from this area, we can pass to the right wing. We can pass to the center, coming back up through here. Uh, the defenseman can just skate with it. And basically what we're trying to do is, as the center is coming this way, we're hoping that he pulls the four checkers to that side. We quickly move the puck this way, and this defenseman in the right wing have some room to come up that wall. So again, center comes around, kick the puck out to the defenseman in the corner, and at this point the defenseman can make a quick pass to the wing, let the wing skate. Center is going to be coming back towards the middle of the ice to get a pass. Uh, he might come straight up this way, depending on how he reads the forecheck. If he's able to get past that first forechecker and have an open lane, we can make a longer pass, but obviously you got to be careful. You know, somebody's filling the middle of the ice. This wing's coming down the wall. So again, we're just trying to make a play where we don't want our center to come around the wall come around behind the net, pick up the puck, and run right into somebody. So that's the center sweep over option.